All right, guys. So for this next video, we're going to cover uh, the next step when you're doing the Kimura shoulder lock. So if you're not familiar with the Kimura shoulder lock, make sure you look up that video. It'll help you out. But we're starting from the guard position. So I'm on my back once again. So for the Kimura, I'm grabbing the wrist, I'm sitting up, locking my two hands together. Now, the move is easier when my opponent go ahead and start to reach around my body to defend the Kimura when he hides his arm. So it's like he's giving me a hug. When he puts his arms like this, he can even put both of his hands together. It's extremely difficult for me to pull his arm away from his body. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold his wrist with one hand. The other hand I post on the floor. I lift my hips up into my partner, and I drive through. And I use that to go from the bottom position to the top position. So once again. So sometimes for the kids, because we don't teach the original shoulder lock, it can be a little bit more difficult, because the wider he posts his arm, the more difficult it would be for me to, to throw him. But for self-defense, the wider he puts that arm, the easier it is for me to do the shoulder lock for the Kimura. So that's why these two moves work together. So I grab the wrist, I sit up, I connect my grip, he's hugging me, he's defending his arm. One hand holds his wrist. So one hand I'm holding here. Another grip, maybe I didn't get my arm in inside, another grip is just to hold their elbow. I can do the move from my elbow being on the floor, but it's stronger when I post to my hand. It allows me to lift my hips higher, and it's easier for me to move my partner during the sweep. I'll give you a different view. Put your feet on this side. So once again, wrist, sit up. I'm trying to get my grip, I can't. One, hug the elbow, hips up, drive through. So now I'm in the top position. And I'm just going to spin your head. So now that we have the top position, this would be an opportunity for him to work on his escape. But how does he do his, his, his escape? He's going to trap one of my arms. So if I'm trying to stay on top, I don't want him to trap one of my arms. So one of the things we'll tell the kids to do, we call it airplane. I'm going to move my arms out real wide. Because when I have my arms out wide and he's trying to break them down, it's difficult, but if he does start to break it down, I'm just going to swim and take it back out. So this is going to, if he's trying to throw me side to side, my arms keep me stuck. Or even though he's stronger than me, it's easier for me to stay in the top position. And I can stay here until he's exhausted or until he decides to leave me alone. If it's a more dangerous situation, we can throw our punches. But ideally, we don't even have to hurt the other person. We can just control them and keep them pinned down. So that's the hip over sweep from the guard position. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. That way every time we come up with some new videos, you'll instantly receive the new videos. If you have any questions or comments, enter them in the boxes below. And if you like the videos and you want more videos, make sure you always click the like button or the thumbs up button so we can send you more, more great videos. All right, guys, practice your hip over sweep. Yeah.